Before all of it started happening, I was like a really good student. I had like A's and B's average. Um, I was happy, I was like outgoing. She was pretty much a straight A student. She, she struggled, struggled in one um, subject and it was just, it was math, you know, but that still didn't go below a C and she always worked really hard. I got introduced with this group of girls from an old friend that wasn't very like good. This group got me into like some stuff that wasn't like particularly good like into bullying and like stuff like that. So I was part of the bad crowd for a little while. All of a sudden I noticed the grades depleting and I was hearing just different stories and things. So I told her, you're not, you're not allowed to hang out with these kids anymore. I just sort of stopped talking to them. And like, then they started like being mean to me and doing what I was doing to the other kids. It started off with leaving notes in her locker saying, um, you should just go kill yourself. We'll bring the things for you to kill yourself. I told myself that morning that I didn't want to deal with it that day. And so I just popped a bunch of pills. She tried to OD on, on pills. Got a call from the counselor saying, hey, you know, this kid noticed um, your daughter walking around the hall is kind of funny, kind of acting funny. And so he came to the office concerned and we brought her down there. And next thing I know is my daughter's just screaming, crying. And I'm like, okay, what's going on? And she gets on the phone and she's like, mom, I tried to OD on pills. I took so many of this and so many of that. And so immediately I rushed to the school and picked her up and took her up to the hospital. I figured it'd be less stress on my mom because my mom wouldn't have to deal with the bullies. And I figured it'd be less stress on everybody at school because then they wouldn't have to bully. And I felt it'd just be easier all around for everyone not to deal with me anymore. It's so hard to hear your own child, you know? Like just sit here and say, nobody cares. If I was to die, nobody would care. Um, you know, it's, it is, it's so hard because as her mom, I love her more than anything in the world. You know, I do. I do anything for this child, and for her to just just feel so low about herself, so unwanted, it is one of the hardest things I've ever gone through in my life. Is to know that my child literally tried to take her life because she felt everybody would be better off without her. There is a lot more people out there for you than you think there is. A lot more, like. And even with those like five people, five, 10 people that don't care, there's times out by a hundred that do. Sometimes you just have to accept your situation for as it is, not necessarily like it, but like accept and take the procedures you need to take to fix it. I look back at it and I'm like, I shouldn't have done that, but it like is still there. And now I can learn from that. And when I'm mentally stable enough, I can help others learn from my mistakes. Thank <laughs> you.